Hey guys, this is Shubhash Mishra, your test coach. Today we will learn a Java program to sort array elements using bubble sort. So here you can see one array having values 3, 40, 35 and 2. And once we sorted in ascending order, what we will get here? We will get 2, 3, 35 and 40. Here we will use bubble sort. So you know bubble sort algorithm is known as the simplest sorting algorithm. In bubble set algorithm, array is traversed from first element to last element. Here current element is compared with the next element. If current element is greater than the next element, then we need to swap them. So we will see all those things through a program. Let's go to our Eclipse and let me create a new class and we will name it as bubble set. Okay. So the very first thing we'll take one array so integer array okay and i will give values as 3 40 35 and 2 okay then we'll take another variable int n and what we'll assign to is n equal to array dot length okay and we'll take another variable temp so this is basically for the swapping we have to do the swapping right so i am taking one temporary variable and assigning 0 to it then we will write a for loop for int i equal to 0 i is less than n n is your length of the array then i plus plus ok then we will take another for loop for int j equal to 1 ok then we will tell j is less than n minus i ok then j plus plus ok fine then what we will tell if array of j minus 1 ok j minus 1 what will tell here is greater than array of j ok then what we will do we will swap these elements then we can say temp equal to array of j minus 1 ok then what we can say array of j minus 1 is equal to array of j then array of j is equal to temp i will explain what we are doing here and finally what we can do we can do a sysout statement and here we will write array after bubble set ok what we will write here for int i equal to 0 this is for printing only i is less than n i plus plus here what we will do again this out array of i Okay. We'll give some space okay now let's execute it and see we have one error what is that let's see okay here there is a error it should be colon ranach java application okay so what we got here 2, 3, 35, 40. So, if I will remove this ln, it should be fine. Okay, this is fine now. So, let's see how we are getting it, what we did here. Let's understand that, that is more important, right? So, we have one array having value 3, 40, 35, and 2. Then, we have taken one variable n which is array dot length if you want to see that what we can do is out 
length of the array is plus n so let's see it should be 4 so length here we can see length is 4 then we have taken another variable temp which is which we have assigned value as 0 this will use in this swapping okay then what we have done we have written a for loop for int i equal to 0 i is less than n means i is less than 4 then i plus plus here we are telling for int j equal to 1 j value is equal to 1 j is less than n minus i n value is equal to 4 so 4 minus i i value equal to 0 so first i can do like this first i value equal to 0 okay and n value is equal to 4 okay so here what we are doing j value is equal to 1 and j is less than n minus i so what is the n value n value is equal to 4 minus i means 0 so j is less than 4 which is condition is correct fine then what we are telling if array of j minus 1 so what is the j value now j value is equal to 1 1 minus 1 equal to 0 array of 0 what is there in the array of 0 3 is there right array of 0 is equal to 3 if array of 0 is greater than array of j array of j means j value is equal to 1 if 3 is greater than 40 then here what we are doing we are swapping okay so swap these two anyway this condition is not matching right so it will not go inside it will go up now j value is equal to 2 because j plus plus is done here right so j value is equal to 2 now fine and j is less than n minus i n minus i value is equal to still 0 and n equal to 4 4 minus 0 equal to 4 so j is less than 2 is less than 4 condition is matching will go inside if array of j minus 1 j value is equal to 2 2 minus 1 equal to 1 so array of 1 which is 40 and is greater than array of j array of j is equal to again 35 right so 40 is greater than 35 what we are doing here we are swapping here so what will be the uh, array now it will be something like this so when we will swap the value will be 3 35 40 and 2 so basically these two values got swapped right you saw right these two values got swapped 35 in place of 35 and 40 these two values got swapped so how the swapping happened you know temp we have taken one temp variable temp equal to array of j minus 1 in the temp we kept j minus 1 so what is the j minus 1 j value is equal to 2 2 minus 1 equal to 1 so array of 1 array of 1 is equal to 40 so here it was temp is equal to 40 in array of j minus 1 so array of j minus 1 equal to array of 1 we kept array of j so in this place we kept array of j which is 35 so this value became 35 and finally what we did in array of j again array of j means array of 2 what we kept equal to temp so temp value what it was 40 so here we kept 40 so this got swapped right and finally we got this 3 35 42 fine then the loop will go up now the j value will be 3 and 3 is less than equal to 4 condition is matching will come down array of j minus 1 so now uh, 3 minus 1 equal to 2 array of 2 so what is array of 2 now array of 2 is 40 because 0 1 2 40 is greater than 2 yes it is greater than 2 right so again the swapping will happen so what will be the value now it will be something like this 3 35 2 and then 40 because these two got swapped then again the j value will be increased now j equal to 4 4 is not less than or equal to 4 right sorry 4 is not less than 4 so condition will not match this will be ended here then i will this 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 will be over right so this will be over here so again we will go here now i value is equal to 1 okay and 1 is less than equal to n yes 1 is less than equal to 4 then we will come inside now i value is equal to 1 okay i is equal to 1 and again n is equal to 4 so here what we are doing for int j equal to 1 
and j is less than n minus i okay j plus plus so j value is equal to 1 so j value what we are getting here j value is equal to 40 sorry j value is equal to 35 right because it is 1 and here we are telling j is less than n minus i so n value is equal to uh, 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 and j plus plus condition is matching will come inside array of j minus 1 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so array of 0 array of 0 equal to 3 is greater than array of j 35 no right so condition is not matching now the loop will go up and j value is equal to 2 so 2 is less than equal to uh, 4 minus 1 which is 3 yes the condition is matching and then what we will do if array of j minus 1 so array of array value j value is equal to 2 2 minus 1 equal to 1 array of 1 which is this is greater than array of j array of j value is equal to 2 so 35 is greater than 2 yes the condition is matching then it will swap again so what we will get we will get 3 35 3 2 then 35 and 40 right these two got swapped right these two values fine now again the loop will go up now j value is equal to 3 and 3 is less than equal to uh, less than 3 its condition will not match the loop will go up now i value is equal to 2 and i value is equal to 2 and j value equal to what we are telling here j equal to 1 and j is less than n minus i 4 minus 2 which is 2 okay 2 and uh, that is condition is matching we are coming down here if array of j minus 1 j minus 1 equal to again uh, j value is equal to 1 1 minus 1 equal to 0 array of 0 is greater than array of j 2 3 is greater than 2 then again the it will swap will happen so what we'll get here 2 3 35 and 40 okay so again the loop will go up but any of the condition will not match here so finally we will get the value 2 3 35 and 40 so this is how you can get the bubble set algorithm so again i am repeating in bubble set algorithm array is traversed from first element to last element current element is compared with the next element if current element is greater than the next element it is swapped okay so this is how you can get in the ascending order if you want to get in the descending order simple you can do uh, greater than here it is lesser than then let's see okay you can get it in the descending order even you can put some more values for example 45 23 something like that let's see see you got it right. so this is how bubble chart works thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i will try to explain it Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.